Travis Bajant versus Sergei Kalinchenko. Upon the very first ready go of this match outside of straps, we started to see how the rest of the match was going to go. Unfortunately for Travis Bajant, there was a pretty massive power gap and most of the match consisted of Travis simply trying to obtain the straps and he was pretty much unable to do this throughout the entire course of the match. We saw Sergey able to contain Travis's hit even outside of straps, and most of the time Travis would hit him just slightly off the center of the table, but then Sergey would be able to cup his wrist in, he would be able to contain that hit, and then just drive Travis right back over to his side of the table. We saw this in round one, and in round two it just got even more dominant, this time Travis trying everything he could just to get to the straps, we saw him elbow fouling by probably multiple feet off the back and ducking underneath just trying to obtain a strap, but he was still unable to get to the straps without fouling, Sergey taking this win once again, and in round 3 it was the most dominant out of all of the rounds, it just looked super super comfortable for Sergey Kalinchenko. So unfortunately for Travis fans, at least on the right arm, he is definitely not back to the level that he once was. Awesome win from Sergey Kalinchenko, and I'll be more excited to see Travis Bajant have a left-handed match in the future.